Hi everyone, welcome to today's live video. Today's topic was sent in uh, by somebody when I asked the other day, what can I contribute to you guys? What would you like me to talk about? Um, so I'm super grateful for everybody that responded. And one lady asked, so I'm an infinite being, now what? What do you do when it seems that you have no purpose, no desires and no direction? And I thought that was a brilliant question um, in general, but particularly right now at this time in the world. Now, many of you may have heard of the concept that you're an infinite being, and it's something that we talk about in Access Consciousness a lot. Um, but basically, an infinite being is someone that is just so much more than just a body, i.e. you. So um, one of the questions that we use that is one of the 10 keys to total freedom is would an infinite being truly choose this? Now, I love that this question started with, okay, I'm an infinite being, now what? Because I think it's so easy for us to forget that we are infinite beings. We are so much more than just this body. Um, I know a lot of different, you know, techniques and systems and modalities talk about the soul and the spirit and all of that. But what if it's even greater than that? You know, what if it's all of that and so much more? So the question that you can begin to ask yourself is, okay, so would an infinite being truly choose this? If you're having a problem, if you're having a day where you are, I don't know, just not having a great day, um, or if there's something that you'd like to change in your life, ask, would an infinite being truly choose this? And the answer is usually, no, you know, would an infinite being truly choose to have problems? No. So once you start to play with that question, what it does is it gets you out of that mindset where you believe that you're somehow this limited being, this limited person with limited choice. Um, and it takes you into that space where you can actually acknowledge who you are. And from there, that's when you begin to choose and create something different. So it's kind of a big topic that I'm not going to go into too much detail into the infinite being thing here um, on this video today, but you can find out more at the Access Foundation classes. We go into that in a lot more detail as well as all of these tools, so please, please, please check those out. Um, but so I love the question because she wrote, okay, I'm an infinite being, now what? So once you get to that space where you're like, okay, I am an infinite being, maybe I do have more choices than the choices that I'm allowing myself to know. Now what? What do I do with that? Like, what do I do when I feel that I don't really have a purpose, maybe no direction, maybe no real kind of desires? Now, I just have to say that I know that for a lot of people right now during um, lockdown and isolation, hi Natalie, hi Claudia, um, it's been really interesting because it's been this time where we can all see so clearly the things that aren't really working in our lives as well as the things that really are working in our lives. So number one, what if you started to acknowledge that, okay? Um, and the thing about acknowledgement is that once you begin to acknowledge, okay, this is what is working, then you can start to ask for a lot more of that in your life. And when you start to acknowledge what isn't working, then you can begin to ask, okay, universe, can you show me a different possibility here? Hi, Simon. <laughs> um, and so, I, there's so many directions that this can go in, but the main thing that I really want to look at today is that how much are we taught that when you're actually an infinite being, that you are just going to kind of sit around in this meditative state and just be, and you're not going to do anything. You're not going to want to work. You're not going to want to work through things. You're not going to want to, you know, have any, um, I don't know, kind of like challenges in life or any big targets. You're just going to kind of float through like this kind of surreal ghost-like figure through life without doing anything. Um, is that actually light? Not really, right? It has a sense of kind of contraction and kind of clunkiness. That's because it's not true. Remember, anything that's light is something that's true. Anything that's heavy is a lie. So what if as an infinite being, what you have is far more choice than if you're functioning as a finite being. Now, what do I mean by this? When you're functioning as a finite being, we tend to um, we tend to kind of go into the limited choices that we have available. Have you ever noticed that? Where it's like the five careers that you could do, maybe the two or three different ways that you could make money. Hi, Sherry. Um, 
you know, we tend to go into this very kind of defined reality of what's available to us. When you find yourself going into that, number one, don't make it wrong, don't make yourself wrong, because that never helps anything. It actually stops all movement and all creation. But just acknowledge it, just recognize it and go, wow, right now I am believing that I've got only five to 10 to 15, however many choices available. Okay, so would an infinite being choose to have only those choices available? Usually it's no. Okay, so then what else is possible? Now, it's this is one of those um, exercises that you're really going to have to be kind of like on top of yourself to do this, okay? I have reminders like all over my office. I've got little post-it notes. I've got reminders on my phone um, to ask these questions because otherwise it is easy to just kind of go with the flow of, you know, what is what has been true for you for so long so the key here is just to start going to question whenever you get that sense of contraction um hopefully that makes sense if it doesn't let me know right in the comments below um hi everybody it's great to see you guys here um and so the thing of having no desires no purpose no direction what i want to ask you guys is is it really when you when you get that sense that you have no desires no purpose no direction is that really true or is it just that you are now functioning from a completely different space? Now I'm asking you that because please go with what's light for you and honor that energetic answer because when we're actually looking at, um, okay, what do I desire? What is my purpose? What direction am I going in? How much is that based on the limited choices that we have had available up until now? the limited menu of choices. Like I have a business and my business makes money in these three different ways. And then I have a side job that makes money in this one way. Okay, that's it, four different income streams, the end. So is it possible that right now with us all being in isolation, having to relook at a lot of our lives and kind of having a bit of a, a reboot on everything, is it possible that now your choices that you have available are just very different than before? Maybe they're less definable. So what you could ask is when you get to that space of, all right, I don't really have any desires. I don't really have a purpose. I don't really have any direction. What if you ask yourself, is that true that I don't have any of that? Or do I actually have a lot more choices available now? Now, I know that that seems like a bit of a head twisty thing, mind twisty thing, um, because of course it makes no logical sense, right? But let me ask you guys, all of the options and choices that you've had available now that have made logical sense, have they really worked out the way that you expected them to? Maybe it was a relationship, maybe it was getting married was what made sense, maybe uh, staying in your career until you know you could climb up the career ladder or whatever, maybe that made logical sense. Did that ever show up exactly the way that you expected it to? Or was it always different? Now, it's usually always different because when we're defining something and when we're giving logical and reasoning, uh, logic, sorry, and reasoning to our choices, we then have to work so, so hard to try and make that choice show up the way that we've got it in our logical mind. And sadly, we're not the only creature in the universe. There are billions of other people that are all choosing as well and so everything is going on and we think that we're you know that we're going to be able to control all of our choices so what if when you have that space where it feels and i'm using feels in inverted commas because this is another conversation that we can look at too um but when it feels like you've got no choices available when it feels like you don't know where to go what if that's where you have way more what if it's the opposite okay um because it's so easy to think to ourselves okay i've got these 10 options available i'm comfortable with that this is the direction that my life is going in well right now times are changing so we can either choose to be at like the front of that and really be at the front of you know kind of like the creative edge of that or we can choose to try and hold everything and control everything so that it looks the way that it that it used to look before. So what if having that sense where you have no idea what's next and you're not even really motivated, what if that is the greatest space that you have available, okay? So what you wanna do, because um, I, I get this by the way, and I'm so grateful that this lady sent this question in because the last few days I've been like, I'm not inspired to do anything. Nothing is really interesting me. 
I'm not really interested in being on my computer for 12 hours. I'm not really interested in any of this stuff. So I started to ask myself, okay, so what is this and what other choices do I have available? This is a question you wanna ask yourself. What other choices do I have available now that I didn't think I had available? or that weren't available to me before. Because what I started to recognize for me personally is that so many of the things that I was doing was just doing and doing and doing to be busy and do more doing and do more doing, but they weren't really creating the future that I truly desired. So this is a great time, um, well, any time is just as good a, you know, a time as any, to really ask yourself, okay, so is this truly what I desire in my life? Is this the direction that I really wanna be going in? Um, you know, like for me, usually what I would do is part of my work and my business is to travel a lot. So I would travel in between three and four weeks out of every month. That's a lot of travel. And it became kind of habit. It was just so normal that it was kind of strange when I wasn't traveling. Um, and now that I've been forced to pause and stay at home, I realized that I really enjoy being at home. So one of the things that I'm asking to change is to actually travel less and take a lot more of my business um, online and just have more time for me to actually create my life and my living, not just do my business and do work. So that's one of the awarenesses that I've had from this. So what could you actually take from this time and recognizing what it is that you're interested in and what you're not so interested in and ask, are the choices that I'm making today contributing to expanding what I would truly, what I truly desire in my life, or am I just maintaining what I've already been creating up until now? Okay, because, hi Jason, hi Alex. <laughs> because um, it really is a time where, you know, you can choose something different. It's like, we're all kind of, we're all stuck at home, you know? It's the choice that you make isn't about what you're doing necessarily, but it's about what you're choosing to be, and it's about the questions that you're choosing to ask. So if you're willing to be vulnerable enough with yourself, to sit down or a cup of coffee, glass of wine, whatever it is for you and ask, all right, so if I'm not inspired right now, if I'm not motivated, is this really something that I desire to continue doing? Whether it's the direction that your business is headed in, whether it's the direction a relationship is headed in, whether it's the way that you're being with your kids, um, whatever that is for you. And then just allow yourself to get a sense of what could be different there. Don't try and figure it out, okay? It's not your job to figure it out. It's the universe's job. You just have to ask and be willing to receive, but ask, is this what I truly desire? Or, and if not, then what else could I change here? What else could I add? Um, and just be present with that question because what will start to happen is you will, by yourself, by asking those questions, you'll begin to open up your perspective and open up your world so that you can start to have different ideas that you didn't have before. You can start to notice different possibilities that you wouldn't have noticed or received before. And in that, you will then have different choices available as well. Um, so I love, 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 love the question. Thank you so much um, to the lady that posted it. And truly, what if you didn't have to have your life mapped out anymore from your preconceived notions and ideas of what your life is supposed to look like? What if being in that space where you have no clue is actually a great gift because that's where you actually have total choice and possibilities available? So remember, don't go into the wrongness if that's where you are right now and you're wondering, what in the heck do I do with my life? I'm not motivated, I'm not inspired. Be grateful and ask, okay, so is this truly where I desire to be headed? And if not, then what would I like to create? What would work for me? And start from there and start asking, okay, are these choices that I'm making today contributing to that future that I desire or are they decaying my future? Okay, you wanna ask that question for everything so that you start to get a sense of the direction that you're going in. It's really just kind of like steering a ship you can change direction at any point and go somewhere entirely different. That's what it's like when you begin to ask questions and choose um, from a different space as well. So, um, yeah, what would truly be fun for you? What would be, what, would, what choices can you make today and what action can you take today that would allow you to really create the life and the future that you desire? Not based on predictability, not based on the limited choices that you had available five minutes before, you know, maybe watching this video or even asking yourself these questions, but really on infinite choice. Like if you were an infinite being, what would you choose? What choices would you have available? And don't try and figure it out. Let the universe figure it out. Let the universe contribute this to you. Just be willing to ask yourself these questions and be brutally honest with what it is that comes up because you know what? It's your life. You're the one living it. 
to me, I always think, well, is it actually going to be easier for me to be vulnerable right now with this and look at this, even if it's a little bit uncomfortable? Or do I prefer five years, 20 years down the line to look back with regret at choices I could have made that I didn't have the courage to? So just a thought for today. I hope that contributes to you guys. Thank you so much for being on. I will be here next week and I've got lots of exciting things coming up. Um, please check out accessconsciousness.com forward slash Diva Diaz. I've got a call tomorrow on projections and expectations that is still open. You can still sign up. It's a one-off call. We're going to be looking at everything that is projected at you, um, all the expectations that people may have of you or that you may have of yourself or that you may have of others and how to go beyond that and not be at the effect of that. Um, so please check it out. And if you've enjoyed this video, please share it online. Um, let's get these tools out to as many people as possible. Thank you so much, you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.